is it? Um, boom, boom, boom. All right, that's all the game that I can do. Look, this is what's up, man. When you're gonna go like, bow, and put this over here. Because I'm gonna make me some. See what this does? It goes. And I'm gonna make some chicken chowder soup. A little bit of in it, in it got a bit of Yeah. And I put a little fat in there. I know people have said, "Why you put fat in there? You put bacon in there?" Just so it don't stick. <laughs> I put a little extra because I want butter in there. Chicken chowder takes a while to uh, cut everything up, but once we get it going, she's going. <clears throat> Ooh, that's some big heat. Too big, too big, too big. Not working. There, there we go. And we're going around the size of the pot. Caramelizing the sides. See that? See how hot the sides are? That ain't gonna work. So what I'm gonna do is I'll move you first. I got this here burner back here. That big gone. And it also has a cap for heat. Yeah, I could turn it out. Oh, my head. I could turn it off, but why be smart? Okay. <laughs> You're like, uh, that's on, Jeff. I'm like, yeah. All right, and I wanted to get that nice and rendered, and I'm gonna keep all that bacon fat in there. I got a lot of veggies to put in here. All right, we got all this mirepoix, onions, um, celery, carrots, and fine diced red pepper. We got this chicken. to put on the chicken right on. Mm -hmm. right. Salt and that's white pepper on there. See it's kind of got that brownish shade to it. I guess I got backed out a little bit. Actually it works better if you see right there. And that, look at that. That's beautiful. Sometimes I just like to look at food cooked. Is that just gorgeous? I mean, just watch it. Mm. I got good music playing for it, too. I turned it up so it's coming to a crescendo. Thank you. 
Tip it, you can feel it's like sludge. Um, I use half and half because I use half and half. I buy milk every once in a while, man. paprika one or two it'll make it make everything turn too red
is in stock. Chicken stock. There's a fair amount of salt on it. Remember that. Yeah, this meal takes a little bit, but it's worth it. I and mean, look at the beautiful bright colors. You guys hear that? I said, make myself look crazy. Got my crazy. The other day I said a line after I was trying to make some songs up and I was just I couldn't get this any kind of feeling. That's where a shitty song came from. I said that was a shitty song. <laughs> Do the chicken stock and the heavy cream I always put a little stock a little water in something that is going to help um, make it so the cream or the milk product if you use pure milk no chicken stock if you boil it too fast or too hard it can actually um, burn the bottom of your milk. You can scald the bottom of your milk. Once you've scalded the milk in a, a, um, a chowder, or you bring a chowder back to temperature and you burn the bottom and, the, and you don't bring it up to temperature slowly with mixing it, just that's it. It's gone. It, it ruins the entire milk. I mean, it literally, it'll burn on the bottom and as soon as it starts puffing steam through uh, cream, you've ruined it. That's it. <laughs> Now there is a science where you can actually leave a small burn spot in the very center of a chowder, huge chowder thing that I used to have to reheat every day. And I got it down to I could put it on super blast heat. But I knew how to put just the right amount of water that I actually created a buoy system inside the pot. So the water would go around it. I'd shoot the water down the edge. It would go into around the edge into the buoy into a, like a bubble and would hold the soup. Then I'd superheat it and that would go in like that and only the very center that weighed too much and pushing down on the water because the water is heavier than the heavy, the, the cream and the milk and the soup. It's heavier than everything. It goes right to the bottom. Especially when you push it to the bottom. All right. So we just gotta wait 20 minutes for this to um, taste good. Then we'll be done. Add some heavy cream, and then we'll do our different garnishes. Chicken chowder, everybody. Okay. That's like a, a gallon right there, too. Almost. Three quarters. And lower the temperature, too. That's important, lower the temperature when you're making chowder. Keep an eye on it.